Jana Kacherik from Big Ideas Learning. Today we are going to take a look at the Resources by Chapter book. This book contains all of the additional resources you may want to use for each chapter of the textbook. While you pull out your books, I'm going to open our website, BigIdeasMath.com, where you can also access the Resources by Chapter. Here is our website, BigIdeasMath.com. To access the resources by chapter, you need to log in and then click on the Teachers tab. Then you need to choose your book. In this presentation, we will use the red book. Finally, click on Resources by Chapter. Let's start by opening to the first page, or the front matter. Here we have a list of all the resources that are included in the Resources by Chapter. Some resources are available in each chapter. Others are available in every section. And some are available only in chapters with a larger number of sections. I'll point out what is included where when we get to some specific examples. Before we open up the resources by chapter, you may have noticed that we have a PDF format and a Word format on our website. If you use the Word format, you can edit the pages if you choose to do so. Now let's open to Chapter 3 of the Grade 7 Resources by Chapter. This begins on page 95. Each chapter begins with the Family and Community Involvement Letters. These letters provide a way to quickly communicate to family members how they can help their student with the material of the chapter. They make the math less intimidating and provide suggestions for helping students see mathematical concepts in common activities. These letters are provided in three languages, English, Spanish, and Haitian Creole. If you turn to page 98, you'll see the beginning of the material that is included for each section. Here we have activity and lesson openers. You can use these to start the class and get students thinking about the math before jumping into the activity or the lesson. The start thinking questions provide students with an opportunity to discuss thought-provoking questions and analyze real-world situations. The warm-up questions review prerequisite skills needed for the lesson. So, you have two choices to start the activity and two choices to start the lesson. On the next page, you'll see additional practice on key concepts taught in the lesson. There are two levels of practice provided. Practice A is for your basic students and practice B is for your average students. Now you may be asking, what about my advanced students? If you turn to the next page, you'll see the Enrichment and Extension Worksheet. This worksheet extends the lesson and provides challenging application of key concepts. The questions require students to think in different ways than the exercises in the textbook and to use higher order thinking skills. Also included in every section is a puzzle time worksheet. This worksheet is a fun way for students to use their mathematical knowledge to solve a riddle. If you turn the page, you'll see the beginning of the material for the next section, 3.2. So each section includes a start thinking and warm up for the activity and the lesson two additional practice worksheets, an enrichment and extension worksheet, and a puzzle time worksheet. Now let's take a look at the resources provided for each chapter. Turn to page 146 to see the School to Work project. The School to Work project is provided for every chapter. This project shows students how the concepts of the chapter are applied in various careers. Notice that under the title it says for use after section 3.3. .3. 
This tells you when to use this project so that students have all the skills necessary to complete the problem. On the next page, you'll see the study help. This matches the study help in the student textbook, so you could print it and pass it out to your students for them to fill in the organizer themselves. Next, you see the financial literacy project. This project is only available in chapters with five or more lessons. The financial literacy projects help students develop an awareness of good financial practices. Students will consider risks and trade-offs as they practice decision-making. On the next page, we find the Technology Connection. This resource is only available in chapters with six or more lessons. Each Technology Connection provides opportunities for students to explore mathematical concepts using tools such as scientific and graphing calculators, spreadsheets, geometry software, and or the internet. On the next page, we see the Life Connections. This resource is only available in chapters with seven or more lessons. The Life Connections worksheet connects the mathematics of the chapter to real life situations. Next is the Stories in History. This resource is only available in chapters with eight lessons. The Stories in History allow students to learn about the development of mathematical ideas in an entertaining and engaging way. Finally, every chapter includes a cumulative practice. These exercises help students maintain skills through ongoing review. If you look back at the table of contents, you'll see that there are several unit projects. Let's take a look at the Unit 2 project on page 236. The unit project summarizes the key concepts of the unit. It requires students to investigate a concept, gather and analyze data, and summarize the results. On the next page is the student grading rubric. This rubric serves as a checklist for the student. It identifies the required components of the project and the point value of each component. On the next page is the teacher's project notes. These notes are a description of the project for you. It includes a materials list, possible alternatives, and common errors for students to avoid. It also gives additional notes and suggestions of what to look for in the student's projects. Finally, there's a grading rubric that is your guide for assessing the project. As you can see, there are many valuable resources in the Resources by Chapter book. I hope this presentation has been helpful and you have an idea of how to use these resources in your classroom.